Hi everybody, welcome to your daily tarot reading. This is for Tuesday the 3rd of October. And today I'm using the Osho Zen deck, which I haven't used in ages. I think it must have got lost under a pile somewhere. So I'm going to draw three cards here to give you an insight into the day and what you'll be working with. So let's have a look. This. Okay. So we have the creator, who's the magician. Then we have completion in reverse. That's the 21st card of the major arcana. That's the world in reverse. And then we have we are the world, which is about uh, connection and uh, relationships and coming together. Okay, so on this day, uh, you're really not particularly, I mean, these are absolutely contradictory, aren't they? So here we've got someone totally alone who's got massive power. He can hold this sun in the palm of his hands and he can create things simply by being alone. And he creates things that he desires. Then at this other side of the spread, we've got we are the world. And we are the world. Each person is equal. Each person comes from a different background, a different element, different religion, different class, different gender, different everything. But they all get on and they're all seen as equals. And there's a big gap in between these two. And the gap is this. Completion in reverse. Completion is usually a woman surrounded by this wreath. And she has two wands in her hands and she's got all the elements at her disposal. And she has reached the end of the fool's journey. She's gone through life. She knows who she is. She understands, uh, she understands what it's about. She understands the meaning of her life, the purpose of her life. And she's come to a place of contentment within herself and a place of peace within herself. And because you don't feel that today, you feel that something's missing. You don't know whether to do things by yourself and to ignore everyone else and to simply say, I'm going to focus on my own thing. Or am I going to say, well, I don't know what to do. I'm going to ask for help and I'm going to um, kind of hand over the responsibility to other people. It's I mean, it's a it's a it's a choice. You can either do one or you can do the other. In yesterday's reading, we also had a lot of fire and we had a lot of fiery energy, which is really kind of hard to manage at the moment. So you're very fired up. You're really ready to make something happen. And this would feel much more difficult for you on this day than that. It's much easier for you to focus on what you have control over, what you can create, because that fiery, powery passion is there within you and you have the ability to really make something and to be productive. This guy, the creator with all his power, if he were to join all these people here, he wouldn't fit in very much because he'd be bigger and he would expect other people to recognize that he's more powerful than them, that he's bigger than them. He would have difficulty blending in because he feels like he's not an equal. He feels like he's something better. He feels like he's the creator of things. He's not a follower. He's a leader. He's a magician. He's a creator. He's a god almost. I mean, we call, we call God the creator sometimes, don't we? So there's this huge sense of fire and self-confidence and um, ego floating around with a sense of emptiness and a sense of there's something lacking, there's something missing in me. And to get rid of that feeling, I have to take action to fill that hole in the soul. Look at this as well, by the way, this yellow ball. It's the solar plexus chakra. And the solar plexus chakra is all about control. What it is we control. So to let go of that hole in the soul, that sense of irritability, that sense of something's not quite right, I'm not complete, I need that final piece of the puzzle to understand everything and to feel content and relaxed and at ease. The way to do that, the way to turn that around is to let go of control, to let go of this notion that you are more powerful and more intelligent and more beautiful and more um, exciting than everyone else. And to understand 
that you can set this aside. It's not your job to have to create your life as you want it all by yourself. You can, you can try and do it all by yourself and force your way through life by using your ego and, um, you know, causing, stepping on other people and causing yourself and a lot of other people grief. Or you can hand over control and say, do you know what? I am not the be all and end all. I don't have all the answers. I'm going to put this aside for now. I'm going to ask for the power rather than it coming from my ego and my desires and my wants and my needs. Instead, I'm going to ask for the universe to give me that final puzzle piece and to give me that thing that I feel is missing in myself. Because that can't be given to you from any human being. No human being can make you feel complete within yourself. It's an inside job and it's really hard. And that's why a lot of us on planet Earth struggle so much because um, we all look for things to make us feel better. Materialism. I mean, you, you feel bad, you go shopping, you buy yourself some nice things, you immediately feel better. And it's this constant sense of more. I want more, more, more. I need more to fill the hole. So you buy the big car and for a couple of days you feel complete, but then you get used to the car and the hole's back. And it's like, okay, now what? Now I have to go buy a better car. I have to get a partner. I have to be famous. I have to be applauded and people have to scream my name and I have to get famous. And all that. You know, it's really, it's a never ending, it's an ism. I, self, me. And in this case, it's a, a case of more-ism. Always wanting more and more and more. And as long as you're in that control ego mode, you'll always have that emptiness inside you and it'll never be filled. Okay? When you let go of control and you say, I am a part of something bigger and I can't fill this by myself, I have to ask... Uh, I have to ask the universe to fill that sense of emptiness in me. And you can do that through meditation or you can do that through going into nature or yoga or whatever it is that makes you feel connected to the higher self. And when you do that, you turn this card around. You will feel complete. You won't feel as restless and irritable, as cranky, as overbearing and bossy and uh, obnoxious and a pain in the neck, basically. And you'll be able to connect with other people in a harmonious way. But be careful because this takes a lot of work. And some of us are going to make it today and say, okay, I will meditate 20 minutes in the morning. I have this, this fire under control. I feel complete in myself and I can go out and I can meet people on an equal footing. If you can do that, then it's great. And you can achieve much more in connection with other people than you can alone. But if you, if you still have a sense of irritability about you, let's say you've done your meditation in the morning, but you just think, do you know what? The world has been so cruel to me. Screw everyone else for today. I'm going to make this day all about me. I'm going to do something for myself. I don't care how it affects other people. And we, you know, all of us think like that sometimes. And I'm going to make this all about me. I deserve it. And there's that deserve and entitlement thing again, which also was very strong yesterday that there's this inflated sense of um, deserving. If you, can't, if you still have that, so you've done your meditation and you still feel like something's missing, then don't go into we are the world mode because you're not going to enjoy it. You will still be bigger than everyone else and you'll want them all to do your bidding. So if you can't get out of that cranky kind of I have to create by myself mode, then get rid of that and do something productive. Set a goal that you can control and that you can complete and that will be the completion for the day. If you're able to get that fire in place and make yourself right sized so that you feel like you're just the same as everyone else and that's something that you can just feel, you know? You feel that. It's not something you think yourself into. You can feel it. Am I better or worse than anyone else or am I just the same? Am I just a child of the universe the way everyone else is? Or have I got this giant chip on my shoulder that I'm not deserving and I'm not good enough? Or do I have this inflated ego and I just think I'm better than everyone else? And if either of those cases apply, then focus on your own things. 
If you can feel equal to others, then do things in conjunction with other people. And then it can be a great day for relationships. So it's a kind of complicated, tricky day. It's not the easiest day when it comes to relationships. And there's a lot of self-discipline involved here. So if you can be self-disciplined, this will work much better. So we've got 21 and 10 is 31. And 1 is 32. 3 and 2 is 5. And 5 is freedom. So if you are able to overcome this once and for all, and you let go of control, and you let go of this solar plexus, and this isn't just for today, this is forever, okay? If you're able to leave that, the need to control, and then when you, when you set that sun down, there's a huge gap. Like, like, like Goldie Horn in Death Becomes Her when she gets shot, and she has that huge hole in her torso, okay? That's what you'll be left with. You need to fill that with something else. And the something else is spirituality. And when you can do that, then you can connect with people on a much healthier level. And that, does, that doesn't just apply today. That applies for the rest of your life. So if you feel right-sized in comparison to your peers and your contemporaries, you're going to run into far fewer conflicts and issues with others. And you're going to have a much easier time of it. That certainly applies today, but it applies every day because people sense someone with a with an attitude coming in if you're arrogant and you step in the door people are like oh yeah here we go <laughs> they don't need to be psychic to know that they respond they know how to deal with people who are like that they've had lots of practice we all have so try your best today don't be hard on yourself if you can't make it today you know if you're just full of anger and you're just resenting and you just want to be by yourself and isolate and create then do that and don't give yourself a hard time about it you are where you are you're in the right time and space for your journey your development but if there is something where you feel like you can do more and stretch this and turn this around then go for that and really give yourself a pat on the back and say oh my god i'm free I am free because I don't expect special treatment. I don't, you know, feel like the world owes me anything. And I'm just part of this whole thing like everyone else. And I'm a part of a community. And that's what we can strive for. And that's also what fills that hole. Having a sense of community and belonging. So I hope you have a wonderful day. It looks like a great day to practice your self-discipline. If you'd like a private reading with me, then please get in touch via my website. It's gregoryscott.com. Just click on the readings tab to all your reading. Um, I use the tarot and astrology and numerology in my readings. I can look at your vocational aptitude, so what you're good at work-wise. I can look at what your soul mission is, what your life purpose is here on planet Earth, uh, what your weaknesses and strengths are, what you need to overcome to get to this place of fulfillment. Like... For instance, if you are unable to turn this around for yourself today, we can look at that together and say this is the block. We can also look at what's coming up in future in terms of your career, your love life, your health, your family life, all of that. So if you're interested, please order the reading on the website. Please remember to subscribe to this YouTube channel and I'll speak to you tomorrow.